Inside Heavy, the world's inside source to heavy metal and hard rock. Mark Weiss is a rock photographer that has taken some of the greatest rock photos in history. If you're a rock fan, you know his work. Mark has joined forces with the Osbournes to raise money for cancer research by auctioning off great photographs that he has taken of Ozzy Osbourne through the years. Mark Weiss joins us here at Inside Heavy right now. Mark, thanks for joining us. Thank you, classic rock and current rock too. Actually, I do a little bit of everything. I'm still, I'm still working. Fantastic. We're talking because you're involved with uh, Sharon Osborne in a uh, charity. There's an auction this Sunday involving her cancer uh, charity. Tell us about it, if you would. Uh, yeah, well, um, I got interviewed for uh, Ozzy and Sharon's son, Jack, um, for his documentary that he did for God Bless Ozzy Osborne. And I was like one of his last interviews. He told me to come on in, and he interviewed me at his house, and we just chatted for a bit. And, uh, you know, the, I guess they used a the little clip, so that was like maybe five months ago. And then I got a call from Jack maybe three, four weeks ago, and he said he wanted me to come to check out the premiere, that they used a the little clip, and we'd love to see you there. The family's going to be there. You know, come join and hang out with us. So I said, sure, and it's going to be at the Tribeca Film Festival. It was their debut of the of the film. So, uh, you know, I was kind of glad that he, he called me and thought about me. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, wait a minute. This uh, sounds like could be a opportunity for something here. So I just thought I'm really pushing and trying to, you know, get my name out as, um, you know, because I'm starting to do my book projects. And I have my wife's guy gallery dot com site that I'm kind of been pushing. And uh, I just thought that I would uh, maybe, you know, see if I can uh, premiere some of my photos at his premiere, you know, like. You know, like, uh, it's a thousand seater and, you know, so I thought about like maybe putting a, you know, a half a dozen or a dozen photographs that were used in the movie and so when people walk into the movie, they, they would see them, you know, just a little bit of attention. So, um, and then I took it a step further and I said, you know, maybe, you know, what, well, maybe we can auction them off for chat for Sharon's charity and, and, uh, so he said, let me, let me pass it by my mom and, uh, you know, a couple hours later, he's like, yeah, sure, you know. So I was trying to think about which images and whatnot. And then about a year and a half ago, we were at the Andas, the old riot house in L.A. Um, I had these 12 images that were already up there, and they still are. They were only supposed to be up for three months, but they've been up for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. They've been uh, uh, up there since the Ozzy played the Sunset Strip Music Festival, and he came and unveiled the photographs. So these photos were still up there didn't want to take them down and ship them and all that. So I said, all right, what's the next best, what's the next best thing? So I said, why don't we make some G clay prints, some three by four foot boxed in, ready to hang, bring them, hang them in the, in the theater and then have Ozzy and me sign them and then auction them off for some charities. I'm involved with the women in cancer fund, uh, charity. We have a let us in campaign. It's, uh, again, for cancer. And then Sharon has her, um, the colon cancer from, uh, Mount Sinai that she's, uh, directly involved in. So we're going to split the proceeds between the two of them. So, you know, so far all's well. We have three days left. Mother's Day is coming up and that's the, our final, I think it's about noontime. And, uh, you know, so you go to, um, you can go to my, my site, whiteskygallery.com and then it takes you to the link to go bid and you know while you're at the white sky gallery.com you could uh check out some other stuff zeppelin metallica uh bon jovi i mean you know my I, the stones i got everything on my site is ozzy the artist you've worked with the most you think uh probably looking back i mean you know it was my first cover i we did for circus magazine it was uh that shot of him in the pink tutu that was back in 1981 mm -hmm. you know i shot him and randy uh you know, actually, when Randy passed on, they used my shot in Rolling Stone for uh, his, you know, his little obituary, you know. Um, so, you know, I just, you know, I, I got him when, you know, he was looking for a change because of Sabbath. I was just starting out. I was a kid. I was a teenager, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just took, took me under my wing. So I, I, they just took me for the ride. I'm still riding it with them. And, uh, you know, but there's bands like, you know, Van Halen. I started with them in like 78 too, like when they started. Um, toured with them, traveled with them. Then when Sammy took over, I was with them too. And, you know, it's, you know, but not as much as I did with Ozzy. Motley Crue is another one. I mean, 
you know, most Twisted Sister is another big one that I've, I've my first album cover was Stay Hungry, and to this day, I'm still, I'm actually going to see Dee Snyder tonight. He's going to be playing with his son, Jesse, mm -hmm. who I've been photographing. He's like, in his, he's 25 now, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to shoot them together when he was a little baby and used to dress him up like silly things like Cupid and I put little Jesse in a diaper and, mm -hmm. uh, and Dee was in dressed up like Cupid for Valentine's Day. So I used to do all the crazy stuff back then. <laughs> but yeah, so um, I, I basically, um, you know, maintain my relationships whether you know like when choir riot was starting out in 81 they were like one of the first bands i worked with in la you know with bang your head i did their single sleeve and till the day he died i you know it's like i shot him a few months before that when he did rocklahoma you know so you know i i i just stick i stick with them they're all their friends you know so i just uh i just ride the wave with them up and down and hopefully it ends up on the up Right. You know, rock photography is something that, you know, just like the album cover artist, and I know you've done several album covers. You mentioned Stay Hungry, and you, I know you did Slip Free When Wet. Uh, a lot of times, you know, people don't really know who the artist is, especially in this day and age of not having the album in hand. You know, as a kid, we'd read all the notes, and I'd tell you everything about everyone right. who worked on the project. Um, uh, but, you know, Finn Costello, Niels Lozauer, and and you are the names that always stick out that I always remember seeing in the liner notes. And you've done tons of work through the years. Now, Finn Costello, you know, uh, the, the, yeah. the, the, uh, Aerosmith, uh, picture of Steven Tyler collapsed backstage. Classic photograph, Niels Lozar, uh, kiss on top of the skyscraper. That's iconic. What's your iconic picture? You think that when people, that when people yeah. see that, they think of that one think, picture. I don't think Neil did the, I think, uh, Neil, uh, uh, Neil Preston did that. Is that right? I don't think those are the one with Kiss on the Empire State Building. I thought it was in his book. I could be mistaken, but I always thought... I could thought be wrong, too. Maybe it was there. There was It was like a press thing, so there was like a few photographers. I was always jealous of that shoot, too. <laughs> I, I was like, damn, I wish I was a little little, little older, but then again, <laughs> who wants to be older? Right. But yeah, that was, a, that was a really cool shoot, Kiss on the Top of the Empire State Building. Crazy. But what's the one of yours that's kind of the benchmark or the cornerstone picture of your collection, do you think? Uh... Jeez, uh, I would say my first album cover, when Dee called me up, you know, I was just a rock photographer doing covers for magazines and, and touring with bands and shooting live. I never really did any album covers, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to, because it's like, let's face it, like album covers are there forever. The image, whether it's an album, a CD, DVD, you know, it, it, who knows what it's going to be like in a hundred years, but there'll always be that iconic image that was the original cover mm -hmm. image, you know? So it's like, when I work for magazines, they're up there for a month. I used to get bummed out so much at the end of each month when it was taken off the newsstands. Cause you know, when I was a kid and I would see my picture on the cover, I would go to the newsstand and look at it and you know even though i had a copy at home i would go there and check it out you know mm -hmm. and then i was bummed out when like they took off the stand so you know i still go to i still go into the record stores and cd whatever you call it you know and and, and look around for my album to see if they're still there and you know 30 years later they are it's amazing so you know i i i i, I would say because of d actually the story i was i was telling d called me up and said, you know, the record company wants us to use this one and that one, but we want a rock photographer. We've been seeing your photos and, you know, I, we've seen your live shots of us. He goes, you know, you're up for doing an album cover first. And I'm like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. So, you know, I, I gave it more than a shot. It kind of like, you know, we made history. I mean, who would know, who would know that like three years later that me and D would be walking in with John Denver and Frank Zappa into the Senate hearings with Tipper Gore, uh, <laughs> trying to take the, the, the tags off of, or putting the tag on, on, on the rock records, which to today they still have. You know, D took me with him. It was just me and him. He hopped on a plane and we went there. I went in the, I got a photo pass and everything with all the news photographers. You can even see me on YouTube, you mm -hmm. know, with a, like, you know, the guy with the long hair and mm -hmm. he, I stood up. I didn't care, you know, take the shot. <laughs> and, um, you know, they were discussing all these photographs, showing all these photos, and they were, Tipper was saying, like, who would think of, uh, and there was a, I remember this picture of Sharon and Ozzy, uh, holding a Ziggy doll with a knife through his head with blood running down it, and on Ziggy's, uh, 
shirt that said, have a nice day. And he's like, what sick individual would think of that? And Ozzy <laughs> and Sharon, oh, they're awful. And I'm like, that, that was my idea. They were like, I said, here, hold this, you know. And, and, and you know, it, it's just fun. I mean, people watch horror movies and, and there's TV shows with killings. And I put a doll with a knife through his head and have, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's sure. so hypocritical to, to everything. So. Who, who, oh yeah, that you photographed real quick was always a pleasure to work with. I mean, you always got a good shot just because they got that electricity about them. David Lee Roth's got to be one. Oh, David Lee Roth was great because I remember he used to hire me to go on the road because he wanted his own photographer and I used to, I used to just photograph him, you know, like he used to take me out, he used to fly a kite and smoke a cigarette and just kind of like, you know, so that was, that was kind of, that was kind of a trip. Uh, you know, shooting him. And I shoot the band too, but you know, he was, he loved being photographed. You got to tell the story real quick about your scrape with Kiss when you first started. I'd like to talk to you about how you first got started as a kid. You, I read your bio, you mowed a yard, you got a camera and the rest was history. But, uh, I'll refer people to your bio on your website to see that. Uh, but tell them, tell the story real quick, if you would, about, uh, you got arrested outside a Kiss concert when you was a young man, I heard. I read on your yeah, side. I, I was 17. I used to sell my pictures in room 223, I think it was, in, in my high school when I was a, a, a junior. And I used to go to the concerts, like, you know, go the first night, like Zeppelin would play for like five nights. I would sneak my camera in the first night, take pictures, and then sell, develop them, sell about 100 of them, bring them with my friends, sell them for a, a buck a piece. And, uh, and sell them in, in school, but you know when the concerts were, would be around, I would uh, I would go there and you know hide like I was a shirt seller, the bootlegger basically. <laughs> so I got the kiss clamped down on all the all the people, and they were selling illegal you know merchandise, and there was me with my kiss photos from that tour from the night before, and you know I went into jail overnight, and they, they were like, if you want these back, you got to appear before the judge. I'm like, nah, it's all right, you can hold on to them. <laughs> So, you know, I didn't do that anymore. Then the next day, I uh, I went to Circus Magazine, and it was just good timing. You know, I got lucky on everything, and it's like I saw the art director. Next thing you know it, uh, you know, six months later, they needed some pictures of Aerosmith. I just happened to have them. I snuck my camera in again. They played Giant Stadium, and first picture they ran was a centerfold of Steven Tyler. And Steven saw the picture. He liked it because he wasn't letting anyone shoot. And they were like, you know, they started using the pictures all the time. And then their management called me and Lieber Krebs was their management. They had ACDC, Scorpions, all these bands. So basically the, the ball just started rolling. And, I, and any door that was open, I just, you know, I slammed through it. And flash forward, uh, and you're actually photographing Kiss. Uh, and you have several times, right? Three years later, they're in my coming in my studio in New York. You know, I'm doing album covers, Crazy Nights. You know, that's when Vinny was in the band. Uh, actually, that was before that. I mean, I shot, I shot every incarnation of Kiss since since with Aces in the band. I think I'm the only photographer that's done that. Like worked extensively. You know, Mark St. John. You know, Vinny Vincent. You know, anyone that was in Bruce Kulick. I mean, you know, I mean, still to this day, I work with them. You know, so sure. yeah, yeah. So it, it was a trip. You know. Uh, sure. That's cool stuff. Well, I'm going to let you go. Uh, I appreciate you coming on and talking to us about your career and about your project with the Osbournes. And refresh my members at wiseguy.com where they can go and make a bid. Yeah, wiseguygallery.com. Wise go to wiseguygallery.com and there's a link there right on there. You can click right on it and then you can see some pictures of me and Ozzy hanging out. And, you know, there's all, go to the press section. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff. And listen, uh, any bands in your area, you want to hire Mark Weiss to do your local band? I got local band uh, prices. I like to work with new bands, new talent. You know, I really, I, you know, you just, if someone sends me a sincere email and they send me some, show me that you guys have been working hard and I can, you guys want to fly me in and I have some time, don't think it's not out of your reach. You know, I'm just a regular guy, just making a, making a living and, you know, you never know. You could be the next Metallica or whoever out of Bon Jovi or Ozzy or you never know so you know absolutely still, still rocking out with, with, with the new band too so well that's cool. Mark White just go to markweiss.com my email address is on there everything's on there and just reach out to me uh, Mark thanks. Weiss classic rock photographer thanks for joining us I appreciate your time okay see you later
If you would like to own some of your very own Mark Weiss photography, visit WeissGuideGallery.com. It's like a panorama of rock history. Mark has photographed everyone from Kiss to Christina Aguilera, and it's in that online gallery. And you'll also have the opportunity to make a bid on this very special auction to aid cancer research. My thanks to Mark Weiss for joining us here at Inside Heavy. It's been a treat. And to all of you listening, until next time, God bless. Take care.